Good evening, everybody, from Al Van Hazel Stadium on the campus of Casa Grande High School. We bid you welcome to the 2000 Arizona Coaches Association's 4A-5A All-Star Football Game. Here on APN Sports, I'm Jeff Lowry. Tonight, the 53rd annual All-Star Football Game in the state of Arizona and a dawning of a new era as we start this weekend with play here in Casa Grande, Arizona. Last year, the North won this game 27-14 in Thatcher. Desert Vista's Bobby Wade was the game MVP by setting a record for receptions with 10. Let's go down to the public address announcer for today's starting lineup.
defensive lineman, number two, Chad Curtis. This is a production of APN Sports, Arizona's leader in amateur sports coverage. Any reproduction or rebroadcast without the express written consent of APN Sports is strictly prohibited. And it is against the policy of APN Sports to show favoritism to one team or another. Any accounts of this game that may be construed as favoritism was done unintentionally. I'm Jeff Lowry, Gail File alongside, helping out with the camera work and taking orders up here. Thanks to Gail for an outstanding job, and thank you for purchasing a videotape of the 2000 games, a historic all-star game in the sense that this is the first year that it is held in the city of Casa Grande. And the two teams come out, the captains, you can see. John Beck, who had a sensational year out of Mesa Mountain View, one of the great uh, quarterbacks, uh, single seasons by a quarterback in Arizona State history as he leads the charge out there. We'll be back in just a moment. Well, the two teams are getting set to go here from Casa Grande High School. Doug Schaefer from Horizon High School, one of the most successful coaches at the 5A level. He is the head coach for the North. He is assisted by Dan Friedman, Tony Conrad, Donnie Yantis, Dallas Hickman, Steve Chisman. And Jim Jones, who had a sensational year for Red Mountain last year, 
He is assisted by Lewis Nightingale out of Santa Rita, Dan Dunn, Mike Reardon, and Lee Peebles. Here's the opening kickoff. That's going to be picked up by Gerald Johnson. He doesn't get a whole lot as he tries to move over to the far side of the field, and he is going to be wrapped up by a sea of red jerseys. So the Southerners with good play on special teams to start this contest, and we are underway. So they'll start from their own 28-yard line, first down and 10. They come out with John Stoner, one of the most prolific 4A quarterbacks in the history of the state, and they go to the running game immediately. Terrell Dansby out of South Mountain. As he picks up a couple of yards on the play, it will bring up a second down situation as Drew Silly comes into the game from Westview. He played for George Martinez, and leaving the game is Ryan Norris out of North Canyon. Call it second down and seven. Single set back in the backfield. They got the wing formation. A single wing back to the left side and a quick timing pattern near side. That ball's caught. And Andy Gray, one of the top players in the state this year. We had a chance to see him in the Peoria game. And what a playmaker. One of the biggest playmakers in recent history in the state of Arizona. A four-year letterman, and he makes the catch. And that gets it up to the 38-yard line and a first down, the first of the ball game for the Northerners. Pitch out left side, and here's another dangerous weapon. And it truly is an all-star game here today. And Jeff Duck Ducksworth out of Paradise Valley, we had a chance to see him against St. Mary's this year. And that young man ran all over St. Mary's in a low-scoring affair up at Paradise Valley. And I'll tell you, one of the... More gifted running backs, no question about it. Played for Bob Lambie, also a first-team All-Arizona, and will attend NAU next season. Second down, only a gain of two. Second down, Stoner throwing off balance. He throws to the near side, and he throws to Andy Gray, who was a quarterback this year at Deer Valley High School. And he makes the catch up close to near midfield, and he has run out of bounds right at the 49-yard line and the, and the second first down of the evening for the Northerners. Some of the players on the south, Chad Curtis, a very talented defensive lineman. Well, they got him listed as a defensive lineman here today. Played for the state champions, the Mesa Mountain View Toros. Hand off it goes. Left side and hit. In the backfield by number four, Kalen Williams out of Marana Mountain View. Played for Wayne Jones. Outstanding play by Kalen Williams. Carlos DeVito is also on that defensive front line. An outstanding player out of Mesa. Played for the legendary Bill McCain. Stoner to pass here. Looking, scrambling, near side. Breaks one tackle, cannot break the second one. As he was brought down by Nick Lovett out of... Was that Nick Love? Excuse me, number 71. That's Clifford Starks out of Mountain Point, a teammate of Nick Lovett, and we'll see Nick uh, later in this game when the Southerners come out and Love it. Another top running back along the lines of a Jeff, uh, Jeff Ducksworth. Stoner at quarterback, drops back, three-step drop. Now he wants to run with the ball. Gets it across midfield. Gets it up close to the 40-yard line inside South Territory. And Stoner just pushing uh, Charlie Klingensmith out of the way, out of Marcos Deniza. There might be a flag. There is a flag on the play, and we'll see what the call is. I think he's going to be a little shy of the first down. On third down and 13, Stoner with the run. He picks up about 10 to maybe 11 yards of the 13 he needed, but there was a holding penalty in there, and that's going to set him back. So now it is third and a multitude. Sets them back inside their own territory. Stoner passing. Quick dump off. Here's Jeff. Near side. Dances around. Breaks a couple of tackles, but nowhere near enough. And a good play running him out of bounds. Number 40, Dustin Pierce out of Flowing Wells. Fourth down coming up. So the Northerners, who moved the ball at times well, but the penalty really hurt them on that last play. And they'll be set up for a punt situation here. 
That kick is up, up, and away. It is going to bounce at the 30. It will roll towards the far sideline. It will take a south bounce, but it will be down, and it will be first down and 10 for the Southerners. John Beck, who set some records this year, obviously the most prolific single season by a quarterback in Mesa Mountain View history. Of course, he played for Bernie Buskin, who has quickly become a legendary coach in the state of Arizona with yet another state championship. Everybody was counting on Desert Vista this year, and it was not to be as Desert Vista was knocked off by Tucson Sabino and a shocker in the state 5A semifinals. And so the rematch between Mesa Mountain View, who had lost earlier in the year to Desert Vista, was never to be. Back, back to pass here on second down and eight. And he throws and he completes it. And I believe that's good enough for a first down. That ball was caught by Matt Poor out of Red Mountain. As he played for Jim Jones this year, Red Mountain, uh, what, 10, 11 victories this year, a sensational year under their head coach, Jim Jones, who is the head coach of the South All-Stars this year. Scoreless tie, we're in the first quarter of play. The 2004A5A All-Star football game, Al Van Hazel Stadium, Casa Grande High School in Casa Grande. And here is Nick Lovett, who gained close to 2,000 yards rushing this year. He has run out of bounds. Good team defense there. Gerald Johnson was over there, among a couple of other Blue North All-Stars. Eight minutes and 15 seconds left to go here in the opening quarter. Beck back to pass, deep drop, throws a bullet, and incomplete. And he had a man open, number 88, Marquise Cooper out of Highland. One of the fastest guys you're going to see on the field. And that ball is incomplete, and it brings up third down. Inside their own territory, but at the 46-yard line, Beck, three-step drop, quick bullet over the middle, and it is incomplete. That time he tried to go to Nick Lovett out of Mountain Point. Carl Kiefer's star running back, and it's fourth down, and they will most likely be punting here. Andy Gray is back for Deer Valley in the Blue North All-Star team. Here's the punt. That ball is going to be caught at the 15, and here's Andy getting up to the 20, spins at the 21, set back, good tackle there. By number 51, one of the finest out of Mesa, Carlos DeVito. A scoreless tie in the first quarter of play. You're watching the 2000 Arizona Coaches Association's Casa Grande All-Star Games. Stoner, the quarterback, out of Cactus, and a quarterback sack. Down he goes. A loss of about 10 yards on the play and a fine play by Red Mountain's Brandon Smith. That'll bring up a second and close to 20. Well, now they've marked it up a little bit, so it'll be about second and 16 or 17. The Arizona Coaches Association's All-Star Committee and Jim Lambert would like to thank all the coaches, players, and certainly the volunteers for making this year and the first year of the Casa Grande All-Star Games a big success. APN Sports would like to convey the same to Jim Lambert, president of the Arizona High School All-Star Committee for allowing us to be a part of it this year. Our third year with the All-Stars. Here's a fumble. Will that ball stay in bounds? It will, and it is going to be recovered. And let's see, hold the phone, hold the phone. No indication as it was recovered by 55, Jason Davis. Tremendous player out of uh, Mesa Mountain View. And apparently it went out of bounds, and now time has been called by John Stoner. 6.44 left to go here in the first, and a scoreless tie. Stoner back to pass. He's looking. He throws. He's got a great arm, and he's, well, he had a man open, but the good closing of number 88, Marquise Cooper, prevented number 20, Drew Silly of Westview, from making that catch. So fourth down is coming up. Matt Poor was back for the Red Mountain team. And the South will have their second possession. A fair catch is made at the 32-yard line. Good punt. Outstanding punt by the North. I believe that was Shane Miller out of Coconino who is the punter. 
So we start from the 34-yard, yeah, 34-yard line inside South Territory, and they go with a handoff, and they pick up maybe a yard on the play. We like to thank Jim Lambert, Barbara Wentworth for uh, their help and helping us prepare for this. Nick DePadre was sensational and been very ingratiating throughout these All-Star games. And here is a fumble. Actually, it looked like Stoner was going to try to do a one of those quick, no-look, sneaky handoffs. And that's kind of a new play this year, or it might be an old play from years ago, and we're seeing it a little bit this year, and Stoner just flat-out dropped the ball. Excuse me, not Stoner, but uh, the quarterback here for the South, John Beck. High formation, Beck back to pass. He's looking, steps, does a great job in the pocket. He kept his composure and threw a bullet to Matt Poor, and he's got it across midfield and a first down for the South. I tell you, John Beck really hung in there well. He gets the first down at their own 47-yard line. They're three yards shy of the 50-yard line here. Of course, we like to thank all the volunteers that have been so nice to us, and Nick DePadre, the athletic director here at Casa Grande High School. And, of course, all the sponsors and the people who provided the financial and support and the support uh, for supplies, including Baden, for providing all the balls for this year's All-Star Games, Fidelity National Bank for the donation of the plaques, Gatorade, ho Holiday Inn, APS and the Kiwanis Park. Beck goes down on a quarterback sack. Norm Wellington out of Independence played for Kelly Epley this past year. Three minutes and 42 seconds left to go, and it's going to bring up a second down and eight. Back under center, wing back to the right of him, an eye formation. He's back to pass, deep drop. He's throwing long and incomplete. And good coverage defensively by Todd Vol, outstanding player out of Paradise Valley. So on fourth down, they will be punting, and this one will get the ball down deep inside North Territory. We're still in a scoreless tie. The 2000 Arizona Coaches Association's 4A-5A All-Star football game. And a nice night for football, no question about it. The North come out. They're looking to pass, and the quick dump off and nothing doing there. The pass was complete, but Zach Seward, an outstanding player out of Sunnyside High School, played for Dick Sanchez in 1999, and number 11 makes the tackle and virtually no gain on the play. Maybe a loss of a yard. Second down coming up, and the pitch goes to Ducksworth, and he fumbles the ball. He dropped the ball on the exchange and that's going to go for a loss and that'll bring up third and 13. Jeff Lowry from Al Van Hazel Stadium on the campus of Casa Grande High School. Number four, the quarterback John Stoner out of Cactus, the all-time passing leader in Cactus history. First team All-State competitor, 131 left to go here in the opening quarter. Stoner with the single setback, one wing back to his left, and now Stoner in trouble, scrambles out to the near side. And now in trouble, he breaks one tackle, puts the head down. He uh, could not get away from one of the finest linebackers in all the 5A conference, and only an injury this year cost him uh, probably All-State first team, and I'm talking about the young man from Desert Vista, Steve Larson. Here's the punt on fourth down, and Matt Poor is going to get it up to the 40-yard line where he is brought down by Ryan Norris out of North Canyon. They love the All-Stars, no question about it, and the fans come out here in droves. First down and 10 from the 40. Pitch out to the near side. What a tremendous play by Gerald Johnson, a defensive end at a central. I'll tell you, that was a fine play, and I'll tell you, Johnson, tremendous speed. He's got that closing speed that you talk about. And that is going to go for a five, we'll call it a four-yard loss. Second down and 14, I formation for the south. And now... 
the end of the first quarter uh, before the snap of the ball. And so we go to the second in a scoreless tie. And you're watching the 2000 Arizona Coaches Association's 4A-5A All-Star Game. Back to live actions as we start the second quarter. Jeff Lowry alongside Gail File and the running play. And that is going to be run up the middle and a gain of about seven on the play for the South All-Stars who come out here, the Southerners in the red uniforms. Rocky Dotzler, another outstanding player on this South team. We'll try to mention as many as we can. Mike Butler, another one, an all-Fiesta region player, and he's on that front line. Here's back passing and complete. And a first down as he completes it to Marquise Cooper out of Highland. Well, that is a lethal tandem. John Beck, as we mentioned, a prolific season this year. And, you know, the funny thing about it is uh, John Rattay over at Desert Vista, who had an offseason in terms of passing yardage compared to what he did two years ago when they won the state championship, John Beck had much better numbers than Rattay had the year before. And I was told that John Beck is not going to a Division I school, or he is still undecided, or he wasn't recruited. Now, that's what I heard. I don't know if that is true or not. But John Beck, I think, had over 4,000 yards passing this year, a tremendous season out of Mesa Mountain View. And he's leading the way here for the South All-Stars. Second down coming up. Southerners with the ball, play action. Here's Beck throwing a bullet, and that ball is caught. And Cooper has it inside the red zone of the north, and he's got a first down all the way down to the 12-yard line. And a beautiful pass by John Beck. You can see why he put up the huge numbers he did in 2000, in 1999-2000 season. Handoff goes to the right side, and a nice run by Eddie Gomez out of Red Mountain. I thought Red Mountain had another guy, a uh, real talented running back, as they go with Eddie again. And he barrels his way through. Uh, Ferrari, or I think that was a young man's name. He did a game uh, when Red Mountain faced St. Mary's, and uh, that young man rushed for about 170 yards. He was uh, tremendous, but he may have had an injury, and that's why Eddie Gomez may be here. 8.42 left to go here in the first half. A scoreless tie from Casa Grande, but the... Southerners are knocking on the door. Split backs in the backfield behind John Beck. And a fumble on the exchange, and he dives forward. And the blue team says they've got it. The Northerners want the ball, but the officials have not made any confirmation or made any signal to confirm that. And apparently it's going to be the South All-Star team's football. An official's timeout, and they're going to bring out the chains. It looked like John Beck had dropped the ball on the exchange from his center. Going to be a little shy. So fourth down, and we'll say fourth down in inches. They come to the line. Back on a handoff, and I don't know if they got it. Tremendous defense on the right side, led by number three, Todd Vol. Todd Vol with a big time hit. Norm Wellington also in there, and I believe maybe Andy Gray was in there. They will bring the chains back out. Do they get the first down? And they do. They only had a few inches to go, so a big break there for the South All-Stars. They line up in a tight eye formation here, and Gomez diving towards the end zone. 
And he's in for the touchdown. There's no immediate indication, so Gomez runs it in. And so the South has taken the lead, and the extra point is good. At the 8-10 mark here in the second period, and it's 7 to nothing. So the North will receive on a short kick, and the up man, Lee Ignack from Central, will bring it up. And a return of about seven yards on the play. And so the North All-Stars, led by Doug Schaefer, who has had an outstanding run at Horizon High School, a state championship in the mid-90s. He's been in the state championship a couple of times. And now the handoff goes to the most prolific running back in Mountain Ridge history, Skip Ast, along with uh, Ozzy Virgil's son, Jose, uh, Jose Virgil, I believe his name. Two great running backs in the last two years out of Mountain Ridge, the Mountain Lions. They play up in that northwest region. Justin York, the York dog with a complete pass and a completion over there on that far sideline. You're watching the 2000 Arizona Coaches Association 4A, 5A game. We got a stop in play. The South coming off a one yard run by Eddie Gomez out of Red Mountain High School. Penalty is going to go against the offense. So they sort things out. Again, our thanks to the uh, Arizona High School All-Star Committee and Jim Lambert. And they've done a sensational job through the first couple of days of this tournament. And their first time out. And I know that uh, they're looking forward to uh, establishing a new tradition here in Casa Grande. Third down coming up. Third down and a multitude for John Stoner. Still in there from Cactus. And he is passing. Pump fake. Throws down the middle of the field. And into the arms of the defender and number 11, Zach Seward. Zach Seward with the interception at a Sunnyside High School. But an immediate flag was thrown after the catch was made. And now the officials will try to figure out what the right call is going to be. I've never seen I've never seen an officiating crew huddle as many times as the one that we have here tonight. Pass interference on the defense, but uh, they'll go ahead and nullify that, and it's a first down, and the handoff goes as they run it off tackle right. And this time it goes to number 32. Was that 32 or 22? That was Jeff Ducksworth. What a sensational player. He also a stellar track and field competitor. Played for Bob Lambie. Picks up eight yards as he gets it to the 46. Second down and three. And here's a handoff. And this one goes to Justin York and the York Dog is inside South Territory and a big time first down. That'll bring the ball up to the 34 yard line inside South Territory. Good run there for York. And good lead blocking up front. Jared Roselle out of Brophy, one of the top offensive linemen providing the blocking. And they run it on first down and 10 and get absolutely nowhere. David Torres, a three year varsity starter who will be attending the University of Redlands, a beautiful, beautiful area in Southern California. Played for Tempe and Tim McBurney. He made the tackle there. Second down, here's Jeff. Quick handoff, and you see the explosiveness of Jeff Ducksworth as he gets to the line, but he was tackled there by Dustin Peace. Looked like Steve Larson, Stephen Larson out of Desert Vista, played for Jim Rattay. I know I was talking to his mom uh, before the game. Awfully proud of this young man. He's going to be heading over to San Diego State next year. And Steve Larson, uh, well, I don't mind saying, a very nice young man and uh, well-mannered, brought up 
well by his parents, and he does a great job out there. Unfortunately, he had an injury this year, as you see Stoner run out of bounds over on that far sideline, and that injury kept him out for four games. Uh, that really hurt the Desert Vista cause, even though they went through the regular season undefeated. So third down coming up here for the North All-Stars as they try to get on the board. They trail it 7 to nothing here. And here's the rollout by Stoner, and he wants to take it himself, and he does. He gets it down to the 30-yard line. And that is going to leave him about six yards shy of a first down. So it'll be fourth down and five, and I would anticipate the North All-Stars to go for it here. Emmett Merchant, what an outstanding player out of Casa Grande. Homegrown product, and he was in on that tackle. Stoner in the pocket, lofts it up high, and that ball is caught by Andy Gray. And a first down for the North All-Stars. Well, we talked about Andy Gray, and you talk about a playmaker, young man who... Played two years of basketball and three years of baseball, and he can do it all out there. Stoner. Here's Jeff Ducksworth as he tries to go off tackle right, and he'll pick up a couple of yards there. That'll bring up second down and about seven. Steven Larson again on the tackle out of Desert Vista High School. Second down, we'll call it seven. Two receivers to the near side, one in the wing, two in the slot with single setback. That's number 40, Skip asked out of Mountain Ridge, and it's a play action. They go against the grain. The throw goes to Aaron Wells over on the far sideline, bumbling, stumbling all the way down to about the two, maybe the three-yard line, and yet another first down for the north and a very impressive drive, which started back at the 35-yard line, and time has been called here on the field. We'll take one, two. This is APN Sports. Back to action here from Casa Grande High School. Seven to nothing. The North trying to get a score here, and they get that win a little closer to the end zone. Handoff goes to Terrell Dansby out of South Mountain. Played for Cleve Dansby. This will bring up second and goal to go. I formation with John Stoner, the quarterback. They go to the fullback and into the end zone. Jeff Ducksworth. And it is now a 7-6 to six contest. So a one-yard run for Jeff Ducksworth. Gives the North All-Stars an opportunity to tie this contest up. Todd Vall holding. For Shane Miller, the kicker out of Coconino, and that kick is good, and we are tied at seven apiece. 2.03 left to play here in the first half, and you're watching APN Sports. Shane Miller once again to do the kicking honors out of Coconino, played for George, George uh, Mote this year and here's a high booming kick back into the end zone and they will run it out up to the 15 to the 20 up to the 25 and close to the 30 yard line and a nice return for Red Mountain alumni Matt Poor who was a wide receiver for Jim Jones in 1999 and now the South Red All-Stars will take over at their own 28 yard line nice return 28 yard return quick handoff and here's Eddie Gomez, who scored earlier. And he is going to be wrapped up just as he got across the line of scrimmage. Adam Harness out of Sunny Slope, played for Dallas Hickman, makes the tackle. After a gain of about seven on the play, we'll call it a gain of eight. And it'll be a second down and two, and the rollout. Here's John Beck, and he'll take it himself, and he'll run out of bounds, but not before picking up a south first down. So a good call by John Beck, the most prolific passer in Mesa Mountain View history and one of the great single seasons in Arizona history for the state champions of the 5A conference again. That's old news over in those parts. First down and 10. Ball at the 43-yard line. Beck, the quarterback, a bullet pass deflected and a good defensive play by Yusef Falago. 
out of Yuma, an outstanding player. Where's number 50, second down and 10. Again, Beck passing, bullet pass over the middle, and that ball's incomplete. He tried the rifle, that went into double team coverage. Back on defense was Gabe Florio out of Deer Valley, played for Rick May's team. And now on third down and 10, they go with the running play. They try to go straight up the middle, and it was Falago again, rising to the occasion out of Yuma High School. And so after getting the first down on their first couple of plays in this drive, the South go 0 for 3 and now be forced to punt on first, fourth down and 10. Final seconds of the first half. A delay of game now has been called against the South. Low snap, and the punt is a good one, and it takes a South roll, and it's going to go all the way down to the 9-yard line. How about that? So that is where the North will take over with one second left to play here in the first half and a 7-7 tie. Stay with us at halftime. We'll have the dedicatee presentation by Jim Lambert and the Arizona All-Star Coaches Committee. We are at halftime here of the 4A-5A All-Star Game and a 7-7 tie. We'll have more in just a moment. Back at Casa Grande High School on this June 9th, 2000. And we're getting ready for the second half of this contest. The South and the North all tied up at seven apiece. And we're just moments away from the second half kickoff. And we are underway as that ball is taken back into the end zone by the South All-Stars, Matt Poor out of Red Mountain High School. And he brings it up to the 20-yard line. Check that, the 30-yard line, and that'll... Give the South a first down. John Beck returning at quarterback. And the hand on the pitch out to the near side. And Nick Lovett out of Mountain Point is stopped cold. Lee Ignack, the competitor out of Central, making the tackle on second down and 16. Matt Poor. The recipient of that reception, of that pass, and he gets the reception as he gets it 
across the original line of scrimmage, but there is a penalty on the play, bringing up a second down, and we'll call it second and 23. Handoff goes. Here's Nick Lovett trying to get to the near side. He's going to be run out of bounds on a fine defensive play once again by Ignac. And also number 11, that's Andy Gray. So it'll bring up a third and 22. And they didn't get a whole lot on that last play. South All-Stars scoring first in this contest. Eddie Gomez with a one-yard run back at the 8-10 mark here in the third. And a big-time hit at the line of scrimmage. After the handoff to Ryan Shirley, and it looked like maybe Gerald Johnson was one of them that got in there first, and along with uh, Falago. And Falago has had a big game here for the Blue North All-Star team. And they're going to have outstanding field position after this punt. 10-19 left to go in the third. You're watching the 4A-5A All-Star Game from Casa Grande, the Arizona Coaches Association's All-Star Games. Handoff goes and a gain of two straight up the middle. And the carry goes to Jeff Ducksworth. Chad Curtis making the tackle. Outstanding player at a Casa Grande. A defensive end, 97 and 99, Arizona 5A state champs out of uh, Mesa Mountain View. I said he was out of Casa Grande. I meant he's out of Mesa. Chad Curtis. So a loss of a play on that one. Third down coming up, and another negative yardage play turned in by this red defense, 73, Derek Kennard out of Desert Vista High School. And fourth down immediately coming up here for the Blue North All-Stars. They'll punt that one away. Shane Miller's kick will be caught right up around the 20-yard line and running room and off to the races. Sammy Moore out of Westwood and brought down in the open field by the kicker, Shane Miller. He's got it inside North Territory, and so the South is knocking on the door. So first down and 10 from the 43-yard line inside North Territory. I formation for John Beck out of Mesa Mountain View. Short drop, and that is still a live ball, and it's going to be picked up by Andy Gray. He's off to the races. Inside the 20, the 10, the 5, and goodbye. He's in for the touchdown. Sammy Moore gave up on the ball. It was The throw was behind him. That was not a forward pass, and Andy Gray was Johnny on the spot. He runs it in. A 57-yard touchdown return. Shane Miller's extra point is good. So the North now leads it by a score of 14-7. Andy Gray, 57 yards with eight minutes to go here in the third, and you're watching APN Sports. Here's a kick. That's going to be a short one taken at the 25. That is 88 Marquise Cooper. He spins out of trouble and gets it across midfield and inside North Territory. That is about the same spot that the that last pass play occurred. They're going to bring it back to the south 49-yard line. Jason Davis leading the way, plowing the field up front, one of the fine offensive linemen in the state of Arizona. He played center and defensive lineman for three years at Mason Mountain View. Of course, they won the 5A state championship last year and also in his sophomore season. Here's a running play, but nothing going on there. Couple of players in on the tackle. 32, Adam Harness, and 42. Outstanding player out of Sunny Slope, Casey Naylor, one of the top linebackers. Third down and seven. Beck goes to the air, and his pass is going to be incomplete. The intended receiver was Sammy Moore. Fourth down and seven coming up, and the punting unit out for the South. High booming kick. Again, it will take a south roll, and that will be down around the 18-yard line, and that's where the North All-Stars will take over. 
leading by a touchdown and an extra point at 14 to 7. John Stoner, the most prolific quarterback in Cactus High School history. Once again at the helm and the handoff straight up the middle and it goes to number Now let's check the number real quick. Jeff Ducksworth. Not much on that last play, and it'll bring up a second down. Derek Kennard on that front line, along with Gerald Johnson out of Central, working the right side of that defensive front line for the South All-Stars. Here's a long pass, and that one is going to be incomplete. Excuse me. Yeah, Derek Kennard. And also, it looked like Charlie Klingensmith is on that front line, number one. Third down coming up. We'll call it third and ten. Stoner to pass, and it's going to be off the fingertips of his intended receiver, Justin York. Good coverage over there on the far sideline by, I believe that was Steve Larson from Desert Vista, and fourth down and ten coming up. Miller's punt. Gets it across midfield. It will be caught right around the 35-yard line. Here's a quick Sammy Moore. Looking to break loose. He does. Midfield breaks two more tackles. Gets some lead blocking from Larson. He's still on his feet. He's inside the 20. He is into the end zone and a touchdown. What a tremendous run for the South All-Stars, number 24, Sammy Moore. That was impressive. A 66-yard punt return for touchdown. Now the extra point. Zach Seward to hold, and I don't know what happened. There was a breakdown on that offensive line, so the extra point is no good. But it's a one-point affair at the 5.05 mark. South coming up with a big, big score there. And so with five minutes and five seconds left to go here in the third quarter, 14 to 13 is our score with the Blue All-Stars on top. South All-Stars to kick this one away. Mike Butler, an all-Fiesta region player who played for the legendary Jess Parker, kicks this one off. And the return and a little extracurricular activity going on out there. And now a flag, a late flag has been thrown. Actually, there are several flags that have been thrown out there. And tempers flying and the heat of battle out there. Klingon Smith may very well have been tossed out of this contest. They ought to kick out his barber, is what they ought to do. <laughs> Offsetting penalties. Where well, these officials take their time in conference, uh, just about every uh, call that is made out there. There's Charlie. Out of Marcos Denise High School, and he can't believe it. Well, I believe he's been tossed out of this contest. So we go back to live action here from the 32 yard line. That's where the North will take over, and John Stoner again at quarterback. He's in trouble, and down he goes. Quarterback sack. Jason Perry out of Apache Junction. Played for Bob Young this past season, an outstanding defensive lineman. He comes up with the quarterback sack, but there's a flag on the play, and it's going to go against the North. So the quarterback sack will stand. May have been a little holding there. Steve Larson talking to the officials. Klingon Smith. We believe, even though we haven't been told officially or haven't been given any indication, but I believe he was tossed out of the game. So 
A first and 27 coming up. They'll take the penalty. And outstanding defensive coverage over on that far sideline. I'll tell you, a total team effort over there. And it was led by Jason Perry once again. And I'll tell you, this is a one-man wrecking crew. Jason Perry, one of the top defensive linemen in the state of Arizona. Even though that wasn't a quarterback sack, that was for a big loss on that play. With four minutes and 44 seconds left to go. You're watching the Arizona Coaches Association's All-Star 4A, 5A football game. Casa Grande and their inaugural year of holding these All-Star games. Stoner, the quarterback, looking at a, set, a second and 29. And this South defense really rising to the occasion. Steve Larson was in on that one. And who else but Jason Perry, number 80, was also in there. Jeff Ducksworth on the carry. He'll be attending NAU. First team all Arizona. Outstanding running back, but he was stopped on that last play. And now you're looking at a third and 29. Two receivers to the near side. Ryan Norris out of North Canyon to the near side. Stoner in trouble. Goodbye. And down he goes once again. And look at Jason Perry. Getting a quarterback sack along with Mesa Mountain View's Chad Curtis. Who is also an all coach Arizona coaches selection, 5A first team all state defensive end and all Arizona selection. So first down and ten for the South All Stars. They will take over at the 45 yard line. Check that the 40 yard line inside North Territory. A deep set eye, and the pitch back to Love it, and he just simply dropped the football and very wisely falls on that football, and he'll take about a seven or eight yard loss on the play. It'll be a, a loss of eight, bringing up a second down and 18. Back to throw, and he's got the man open on the other side of the field, and that's Elton Johnson out of Desert Vista High School. And Elton gets about... 13, maybe 14 yards on the play, and he'll bring up a third down and five, third down and six. Elton Johnson, one of the top receivers in the state of Arizona over the last two years. Third and five, Beck the throw, and he overthrows his intended receiver, Matt Poor. Johnson, one of the best players in terms of what he can do with the football after he makes the catch. Fourth down and five. Let's see if John Beck elects to go for it here. They do. He's passing. Three-step drop. Bullet pass. Far side. And it's complete to Elton Johnson. And that's a first down. A gain of six on the play as he's run out of bounds inside the North All-Star 30-yard line. First down and ten. Quick handoff. Ryan Shirley out of Miranda Mountain View. And he doesn't get too far on that play. Good defense. Terrell Dansby and Lee Ignack, who has been one of the leading tacklers out there on the field today. Sam Jacobs also in there out of Washington, played for Steve Chisholm. Or Steve Christman, excuse me. Second down, we'll call it a gain of uh, four, possibly a long five here. Second and five, back, looking for the end zone. Contact was made, but the catch was two. And Sammy Moore has a touchdown. A very impressive 29-yard run. And so the South has bolted out to a 19-14 lead. And the two-point conversion's not going to be good. Welcome back to Casa Grande High School, the 4A-5A All-Star football game of the year 2000. Jeff Ducksworth out of Paradise Valley across the 30 to the 40 and run out of bounds on the far side of the field, close to the 45-yard line. He's going to be run out around the 42-43. There may be a flag on the play. 
Nice return for Jeff Ducksworth. Truly one of the top running backs in the state of Arizona. And the penalty is going to go against the South. So just as soon as they uh, gain the lead or regain the lead in this contest, after trailing 14 to 7 and 14 to 13, they lead it here in the late stages of the third period by a score of 19 to 14. Stoner at quarterback again. That's the end of the quarter, and it's going to be a run of first down proportion. Skip asked out of Mountain Ridge High School. And he's going to be very close to a first down. I believe he got it. And that's the end of three. We go to the fourth. There's a score. Well, we start the fourth period of play. A 19-14 lead for the North All-Stars. They have the ball. And they are passing. And it's incomplete. And a big-time hit over on that far sideline by the South All-Stars. Number three, Shorty Harden. Out of Rincon. Second down and 10 coming up. John Stoner, a 4A quarterback for Cactus. He will hand off. He'll go to the, you know, the front man there in the lineup, and that was 88, Justin York out of Paradise Valley High School. And he didn't get a whole lot on the play. It'll bring up a third down. We'll call it third down and eight. Inside South Territory. North with the ball. Stoner back to pass. The pump fake. He goes for the far sideline. He's got a man open. He's turned around. He can't make the catch. That was a tough play for Jeff, Jeff Ducksworth. As we mentioned, we'll be going to NAU. And now fourth down coming up. And they will elect to go for it on fourth down and eight. Stoner still a quarterback. He spins in the pocket. He throws near sideline, first down yardage, and more. That ball is caught and now run inside the red zone of the south by Justin York out of Paradise Valley. And the North All-Stars have a first down. Tremendous play. Stoner looked to the left. He spun out of it and stayed in the pocket and threw a perfect pass to a wide open Justin York. So the York dog comes through. Stoner, handoff to Justin York's teammate, Jeff Ducksworth. And Ducksworth is hit just as he gets to the line of scrimmage. And I believe it was number 42, Stephen Larson. Larson has had a big game here today. Been involved in a majority of the plays and a good percentage of the tackles made for this South All-Star team. 10-15 left to play. Stoner wants to keep it himself, and there's Larson again. Playing huge among the Giants of the 5A and the 4A Conference. And a quarterback sack for Desert Vista's middle linebacker, Steven Larson. You got to see that closing speed of Larson, and he got to Stoner. Stoner looked like he was in slow motion. Personal foul, however, is going to go against the South. And I'm not sure why. So that'll bring up a first down, and Stoner fumbles the exchange with his center, and he has to fall on the ball. They have it inside the 10-yard line. A loss of about a half a yard on the play. Stoner getting instructions from Andy Gray. Coming in, Andy Gray, a four-year letterman and big-time playmaker. We haven't seen him at quarterback. We have seen him here as a wide receiver and a defensive back. Very versatile. Stoner looking, passing, in trouble, going down again. Another quarterback sack, and Stoner just very unhappy. And it looked like Chad Curtis was in there. Dustin uh, Peace out of Flowing Wells was also in there. And so the South will take over. They lead it 19 to 14 and back passing, throwing. And he threw that one behind the intended receiver, Elton Johnson. Casey Naylor, a linebacker with outstanding pass coverage. That'll bring up second down and 10. Pitch out goes. Nick Lovett out of Mountain Point 
And Lovett gets it across the 20-yard line and picks up about five. Third down and five coming up for the South All-Stars who lead it by five. Eusefa Falago on the tackle for Yuma, one of the tremendous players. Pass play. That ball's going to be caught. And Elton Johnson, I believe, has picked up a first down for the South. So a nice pass by Beck, and it was just barely enough for the first down. Now hold the phone. Are they, now, now they have signaled that it is a first down. So John Beck continues to stay out there as the quarterback for this South All-Star team, and they continue to go to the ground game, and why not? When you got a young man and Nick Lovett who had, I think during the regular season, somewhere around 1,700, over 1,700 yards rushing, and I think finished uh, somewhere around 18 or 19. Second down and five coming up. And here's Beck throwing off balance. He throws a bullet to Eddie Gomez, who's still on his feet after he gets the first down and more. He's got it across midfield and inside North Territory and a first down for the South. Beck looked like a, an all-pro quarterback that time, threw off balance. From the 46, handoff, and they run it straight up the middle. Uh, Jason Davis... Emmett Merchant, Alex Samoriano on that uh, front line, Mike Butler out of Gilbert. Got some great stars out there. Here's a double reverse. And the flea flicker back throws downfield, tipped around, and Andy Gray could not come up with the interception. That's incomplete. That well, was a pretty play or a, pl a pretty uh, attempt to pull off what would have been a very uh, razzle-dazzle play. Back, back to pass looking. He throws one and just off the hands. Good defensive coverage in the secondary by number 32, Adam Harness, who has uh, made a name for himself over the last uh, 10 or 12 minutes of play in this football game. Fourth down and eight coming up. And I believe the South, who owns a 19-14 lead, they're going to send out their punting unit, Mike Butler. And they will not fake the punt. They will kick it away. And Gray will let this ball bounce into the end zone. Yes. Sensational attempt by Mr. Larson, but to no avail. 19 to 14 with 5.44 left to go here in regulation. Doug Schaefer, the head coach for the Blue North All-Stars, the Southerners led by Jim Jones out of Red Mountain. And the handoff goes and nothing doing there. Outstanding defensive play by number two, Chad Curtis and Jason Perry. I'll tell you, those two guys have been all pro amongst the all pros here in the second half. Doing a sensational job and no chance for York. Stoner in trouble, tripped up behind the line of scrimmage. And again, it's Chad Curtis. Making Mesa Mountain View very proud. And you talk about most valuable player for a moment. And there's a couple of defensive players on this South All-Star team that should get some recognition, including Jason Perry. and. Chad Curtis. Third down coming up for John Stoner and his North 4A-5A All-Star team. And now the whistles blow, and this will be a delay of game against the North. Third down and 13. Stoner to pass. In trouble, and he's going down again. Brandon Smith out of Red Mountain came in there totally unmolested. And he just takes care of John Stoner, who has been under heavy artillery in this entire second half particularly. That will force the North All-Stars to punt. Fourth down, 21. And Miller to kick it away. 
at a Coconino. Gets a good bounce, and it will land inside South Territory at the 46. A score here, and the South could pretty much seal the victory. They lead it by five with 3.13 left to play. From the 45-yard line, Jeff Lowry, glad to have you with us. Great night for football. And John Beck going back to work, and he's got a man open, and that's Gomez once again out of Red Mountain. Well, the East Valley has really been represented well in the second half of this contest between the play of Perry and Chad Curtis. John Beck, the quarterback, and... Eddie Gomez, he's got a touchdown to his credit. Gomez going and making the catch downfield, and it is caught. And now a late tackle. Excuse me, that is not Gomez down there. That's Elton Johnson getting the pass on a long bomb from John Beck and then run out of bounds, and Andy Gray tackled him onto the uh, track out there, and that was uncalled for. I believe it was Andy Gray out there. And I don't know what Andy was thinking. I, you know, you would think that he, he did not do that intentionally, but obviously you could really hurt somebody by tackling them on that track. And now Andy Gray is going to come off the field. And I wonder if he's been ejected out of this contest. There's not, and not to justify what Andy just did, but there is not a lot of room between the goal line and the track over there on the far side of the field. And maybe Andy just simply didn't realize where he was on the field. So it is a personal foul, and Andy has been tossed out of the ball game. And now they've kicked Elton Johnson out of the ball game. Well, that is a surprise with just a couple of minutes left to play in this contest. Well, something else must have happened over there after the personal foul was committed. And there must have been some vulg vulgar language or something because I'm surprised that both those players were kicked out. There was really no, yeah, I didn't see a whole lot of pushing. I mean, obviously Elton Johnson was mad. I think he just, Kind of wanted to stand up for himself. Well, I'm shocked they kicked him out of the ball. I'm shocked they kicked both of them out of the game. That's too bad. You got two of the most uh, electrifying players in 5A football that have just been tossed out of this contest. Well, nonetheless, the South still has the football. They've got a first down and 10 inside the 20-yard line. They're going for the end zone, and another touchdown, John Beck. And get Shorty, Shorty Harden from Rencon with the touchdown reception. And that makes it 25 to 14 in favor of the Southerners. The extra point attempt by Dave Torres, a three-year varsity letterman who will be attending the University of Redlands. His extra point is good. 26 to 14 is our score with two minutes and 47 seconds left to go. And you're watching APN Sports and our exclusive coverage of the 4A-5A All-Star Football Game. Jeff Ducksworth out of Paradise Valley will return the kickoff. He gets it up close to the 20-yard line. And up to about the 28, the 29-yard line, and they will run it on first down. And another fine play, Charlie uh, Klingensmith. So Klingensmith was not ejected from this ball game. Second down and a gain, well, maybe a half a yard. Second down and nine. Stoner, the quarterback, and he gets some time to throw. He passes on the run, and he's got a man, Todd Vall, out of Paradise Valley. Vall has been a starter on that Paradise Valley team since it uh, seemed like he was there in 97, which what would have been his sophomore season. Todd Vole, one of the all-time greats in Paradise Valley history. Here's Stoner getting out of trouble once, getting out of trouble twice. Klingon Smith couldn't catch up with him, and now Stoner takes the ball himself, and he'll run with it. He's inside the 40. Run out of bounds by Marquise Cooper. Cooper, an outstanding player, played for Mike Reardon at Highland this past year. 
Timeout taken by the North. They trail by 12, looking at a second down and three. One man in the backfield, four receivers, Stoner, and he's going to run it himself. And he will get the first down and then is pushed out of bounds just shy of the 30-yard line. Looks like Steve Larson possibly, and Stoner getting a glad hand from uh, the teammates on the other side of the field. And Steve Larson uh, showing uh, good sportsmanship and goes over and gives him a handshake and smacks him upside the head. First down and 10 for the north. Stoner looking over the middle. He throws, and that is going to short hop his intended receiver, Todd Bowl, out of Paradise Valley. Back on uh, defense was Shorty Harden. And 88, Marquise Cooper. Second and 10. From the 33, Stoner to pass. In the pocket. He throws up top. And that's going to be picked off. Well, he put it up there up for grabs. And the red team comes up with the interception. And I think it was Cooper that comes up with it. And so the South All-Stars will take over deep inside their own territory. But they lead it 26-14. to And, folks, I think that's going to about do it for us in this 2000 inaugural all-star football game here in Casa Grande. John Beck, and they will run this one up the middle. He'll go to Eddie Gomez, who scored early in the ball game, which gave the South a 7-0 lead at the 8-10 mark in the second quarter. Stay with us at the conclusion of this game. We'll have the presentation of the Most Valuable Player Award. And it could go to several players. And there's a couple of players on this South All-Star team. As you see, Ryan Shirley. Good job by Carlos DeVito out of Mesa. Played for Bill McCain this past year. And that's going to do it. This contest is over. And the 2004-8-5-A All-Star Champions is the South. Our final score from Casa Grande, the South 26, the North 14. Stay with us. we got more coming up. Well, John Beck is going to be our Arizona Coaches Association 4A-5A All-Star Football Game Most Valuable Player, Jim Lambert, President of the Arizona High School All-Star Committee. Once again, APN Sports would like to thank the Arizona Coaches Association All-Star Committee for allowing us to be a part of it. And we'd like to thank you for purchasing the tape. We hope you enjoy this for many years to come. So for Gail File, this is Jeff Lowry. From Casa Grande High School, again, our final score, the South wins the 2000 All-Star Game 26-14. And until next time, so long, everybody.